You're listening to Disturbing the Priest with Brandon Baddock. We are back with a new episode of Disturbing the Priest. I'm your host, Brandon Baddock. This is a very interesting episode today. I wanted to talk about the band Ghost because it's actually kind of a hot topic in the metal community. You either love Ghost or you hate Ghost. I've seen a lot of posts about Ghost on like Loudwire and Metal Injection and all the comments are like, yeah, Ghost sucks. What a bunch of posers. So it's like at this point, I'm like, all right, I should really make a podcast episode on it. Because I actually kind of like Ghost. Um, Ghost is <laughs> pretty good. And, and like, I can admit Ghost isn't for everyone. Ghost has a lot of pop elements, which is like obviously a turnoff for a lot of metalheads, especially the older guys. But let's just like go over Ghost. All right. So Ghost was formed in... 2006 by Tobias Forage. Ghost released their first album in October of 2010, uh, which was, funny enough, praised by the metal community. is pretty much a worship. Their second album was released in 2013, uh, which debuted number one in Sweden and uh, won an award. The band released their third studio album, which is like my favorite, Meliora, in 2015, which reached number one in their home country. Uh, and actually number eight in the U.S., which is cool. Also, the band released their fourth studio album, Prequel, in 2018. And their fifth studio album, in Para this year, 2022. So there's been a ton of ghost press recently, and it's got people very upset. People get triggered every time they hear the word ghost now. They can't even watch Ghost Hunters now because they'll think of Tobias Forge and the Scooby-Doo music they claim it to be. But, like, listen, Ghost has a really, really weird history to it, all right? My first exposure to Ghost was actually when they released Prequel. I didn't really listen to it, but I always saw that album cover everywhere. I'm like, oh, that's a cool-looking cover, cool band name to Ghost. I wanted to check them out. So I did. I listened to their first album, Opus Apotamus, and it blew my mind. I, I did say before that Meliora was like one of my favorites. Opus Apotamus is amazing. It is so good. It is one of the greatest ghost albums, if not the best. It is very good. I love Opus Apotamus so much because of how big of a fan I am to like bands like Black Sabbath or just any general doom metal candle mass electric wizard and ghost first album opus apotamus like i said before was praised by the metal community everyone was recommending it to each other it was an evil evil album more evil than any sabbath album more evil than any candle mass album and, and yes all right let's get into it if you listen to opus apotamus not only are the instrumentals evil but the lyrics, god damn. <laughs> Every single song is just about praising Satan. Every song is just Satan is Lord. That is it. And it works. It's really good. It's it's such an evil record. And you get that evil energy. If you ever watch their first performance ever, so when Ghost performed for the first time, it was actually just in some basement somewhere, and you can actually find the footage of it. And it is like the most evil thing you'll ever see because the shaky cam makes you feel like you're watching some kind of bohemian grove secret evil ritual and by god does it look evil the venue is super fogged up they're playing a very evil weird demented chant the nameless ghouls come out and then papa one comes out uh, he slowly makes his way to the stage and people lose their minds they're like oh my god and they go into the first song on the record. Literally the first line of Opus Apotamus is, Lucifer, we are here for your grace, evil one. Like, come on, is that not the most like evil thing? Um, and after seeing their first live set, I get a lot of Merciful Fate vibes from them, honestly. Um, and I think that even comes from their whole persona. But yeah, so what happened? <laughs> I'm really hyping this band up to be super evil, super demented, when a lot of the metal community today will call ghost posers, cringe, too poppy. Like, what happened? So, uh, I do want to go over some points, all right? 
to just cover why people hate this band. Let's go over public reception. So a lot of people have like claimed that Ghosts is way too radio friendly now, that they are just trying to be way too mainstream. Uh, we're in reality. It was only until October of 2015 when they actually like started to get noticed. And that's when they were on their first like late night show, 2015. Also before that, venues wouldn't accept them into their venue because of their imagery and their music. So it's really interesting that metal fans don't like them because they're not evil enough, but venues also didn't like them because they were too evil. So they were in this super weird spot. But as of now, they're very much accepted with the amount of stadium tours they're doing. They're killing it. They're really killing it. It's crazy that this band started in 2010 and they're doing so good. Ghost is a very easy target for a lot of metalheads. And it's because of three things. They're modern. That's obviously going to upset a few people. They only want their metal bands coming from the 80s and any time before that. So the 2010s, yeah, a little too modern. It's such a shame because it doesn't let people like actually discover new music and find bands that they might even like more than the ones that they've been holding on to uh, for like 30 years now or God knows how long. But being modern is a one thing. Also imagery, that's a big thing. A lot of people, when they first saw Ghost, thought they'd be some kind of like behemoth-like band in terms of like maybe they're kind of black metal, death metal, who knows, maybe extremely doomy. But no, they aren't. <laughs> and that brings me to my third point is that they have a lot of pop elements, which I understand is a huge turnoff for most people. I used to really hate pop. Anything that had a little pinch of pop I would avoid like the plague and Ghost has a lot of that actually which actually is one of the reasons why I really like Ghost because they've experimented so much Ghost has done Doom stuff they have some surf stuff funny enough some saxophone so you know I like it I think it's good I think they're doing a better job at pop than Kiss ever did whoa that was a hot take but I'll get to that right now, actually. So so here's the thing. Ghost and Kiss, I love to compare the two. Something I've heard that people say is that Ghost could have been like the modern day Kiss, which is so silly to hear because I think they actually are. It's just they never really got a chance. Ghost is light years more evil than Kiss ever was. That's a fact, for real. If you compare Ghost's first album and Kiss's first album, it's, oh my god, it's so obvious which band is more evil. Um, also, Ghost, in a lot of elements, is heavier than Kiss. Now, Creatures of the Night might prove that wrong, but Ghost is a very heavy band. Also, what Ghost does, which Kiss never did, is Ghost keeps their evil themes even in their most poppy music. Like... That's that's the thing when I hear people say that, where they're like, I hate how poppy Ghost is now. Ghost had so much potential. It's crazy to see what happened to that band. It really sucks. Tobias is awful. And I'm like, dude, you're wearing a Kiss shirt right now. Have you ever even heard the song Lick It Up? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Lick It Up. It, it's. I think I, I, I was curious what this song was about, so I went on the lyrics and like I was looking at the like comments of what people were saying, and everyone's like, "Yeah, I assume it was just about like blowing a guy." Wow, kiss, <laughs> very evil. I don't know, man. It's it's very weird. I I think people just aren't giving Ghost a chance. I love Ghost. I think they're cool. I also love Kiss. I've seen Kiss live way more than I've seen Ghost. Kiss is a very special place in my heart. I love both bands. So some of the arguments people will make is that ghosts aren't actually metal where like ghosts might not be metal, but they still have a lot of metal elements to them. Their first album is pretty much a doom metal album. I'm not going to preach to people that they should and should not like a band because they should give pop a chance or whatever. But just to say that 
you don't like ghost because it's a pop band is a very uneducated claim in my opinion one of the nameless ghouls has even said that ghost is a mix between pop music and death metal which i agree with even in their modern albums they do have a lot of elements of metal are they a metal band though hard to say all right here's a big one here's probably the uh the strongest point people make and that's that the front man tobias forge sucks i've heard a lot of people say that he's an abusive front man who mistreats his bandmates he also doesn't pay his band in royalties which there's no way to put that but that's pretty unfair in my eyes now i'm not gonna defend that really like i'm not gonna defend that it's okay for tobias to not pay his band in royalties if you actually do care about that go check out priest priest is actually a band that was formed from the members that tried to sue ghost the ex nameless ghouls i think it's also worth mentioning all the good that tobias forge has done in general first of all he supports small artists a lot of the merch designs that have been printed on shirts and posters and whatnot has been fan art which yes that does sound like a recipe for disaster but i think it's worked out amazingly and it also is a way for ghost this behemoth of a band to support small artists so i think that's really cool also something that's interesting is that when they play enter sandman live the money from the rights to that cover go to a charity that gives transgender teens a place to go besides maybe to say like an abusive household which is really cool not a lot of bands do stuff like that i can admit that not paying songwriters in royalties isn't cool all right here's another one ghost rips off old metal bands ah that which is an argument i see a lot i don't know man like people are like ghost is just trying to be blue oyster cult or uh, a more current example is definitely with impera which i think i've seen it most even i watched the uh, needle drops interview on it anthony fantano and he's like yeah uh griftwood is all right i've heard van halen before spillways pretty much just a bon jovi song which ghost does pretty much wear their influences on their sleeve with especially an album like impera but i don't mind it i think it's totally justified it's not like ghost is literally ripping off van halen it's not like you're like oh that's literally the uh riff for running with the devil oh that's literally the the line from hot for teacher same with spillways it's not literally a bon jovi song it's very much inspired but that's the difference like i can look at most metal bands and literally compare like creeping death by metallica literally has a misfits riff in it <laughs> i'm not gonna not like a band because maybe a band has some parallel thinking or borrowed a riff by accident like listen i'm a zeppelin fan you know enough said Another big thing I see about Ghost is that uh, a lot of metalheads are claiming that Ghosts are posers. It's just for pop fans who want to pretend they like metal. Another claim is that the only reason the band is even popular in the first place is how theatrical they are as well and their imagery. And without that, they're just a hollow shell of a band. Like, I've even heard people make the claim that like Ghost is just like pretty much swedish baby metal which is like what <laughs> ghost is such an extremely talented band just looking at the music alone forget the imagery forget the tobias thing forget everything if you look at the music alone they are so talented like oh my god people hold meliora in such a high regard not just because the cover looks cool and the band looks spooky but people put it on like a list of like the 10 most influential metal albums that come out of the 2010s period and that's not coming out of my mouth that's coming from many charts and many publications i've seen about meliora also the song ritual off their first album was placed in a 50 most evil songs ever list so like i'd love to see baby metal do that especially with something like impair which broke records I don't know. Maybe we may get Rob Halford <laughs> singing Square Hammer with Tobias. We'll see. Here's a really big one. All right, you ready? Ghost is a cringe band. <laughs> this is what I actually do see a lot. 
Uh, people will make claims that like Ghost is cringe with how campy a lot of their lyrics are, especially with songs like Twenties, as well as their merch they put out. Best example of that is the Plushy, which oh my god, if you don't know what I'm talking about, for the uh, prequel era of Ghost. They put out this plushie of Cardinal Copia, and it is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is so weird. It's almost become a running joke in the ghost community with how weird this plush came out to look. I even saw someone like at a show in like a whole mascot outfit of that plushie. It's become so iconic. But Ghost has a lot of weird stuff like that. Another example is the canon of the band, the lore, which is crazy to say that a lot of people have an issue. A lot of people don't like Ghost because of Ghost lore and canon, which is like, what? <laughs> Did I hear that right? You don't like a band because of its canon? As dark as Ghost can be, they do have a lot of humor to them, which is very self-aware in my opinion. It's a weird band. People are calling it Scooby-Doo chase music. It's a weird concept. It's a weird premise. They want to be funny about it. They're making pop songs too. They're just having a good time. They have a YouTube channel where they put out little skits which drive the Lauren Cannon because there's Papa Nile and his whole thing with Cardinal Copia becoming the next Papa. It follows all these different popes. It follows the whole story of the band. It's so weird. It is very weird. It is funny too. Like it's made me laugh. It's funny. People are digging it. Personally, is it my thing? I just like the music. I'm not into the skits this band does or whatever, but it's not going to ruin the band for me. That's crazy. People are so picky with this band. It's just good music. I, I dig the music. And I'll be honest, like even for me, some of these videos have taken me out of the darkness of the band. Like I was mentioning before, when Ghost did their first live show ever, you know what I mean? And like just seeing them tour Opus Apotamus and all the footage and stuff, it almost feels like it's an entirely different band you're watching. Which, if you don't like the next album and the rest of Ghost, that's totally okay. But unfortunately, that album made Ghost and in the end has actually hurt Ghost a lot because people are so stuck up on that album. People hold that album so high, their first album, because of how evil it is in metal. But it really is crazy to hear people say that they don't like a band because of its canon. Like, I still cannot get over that. And even though some of the merch can be weird, you know, the shirts might be a little wacky too, but I'll be honest, there's some awesome shirts that come out of this band. There's some awesome posters, especially wall flags. There's this uh, wall flag in their recent tour, which is literally like a parody of the Clockwork Orange cover art. It's just, it's very cool. And don't get me started on the album covers. Oh my God. I got into Ghost literally just because I saw it prequel for the first time. I'm like, what is this band? The cover's sick. Very detailed. They have very detailed cover arts, especially with Impera, which it's very cool looking. And their first album looks cool as well. Very cool cover art. Very detailed. Very iconic, too. They have very iconic covers. Nothing feels too weird or anything that throws me off. They all have really, really, really cool covers. Cooler than most metal bands, actually, in my opinion. Also, I want to mention, like, Ghost does have a weird stage presence now too that upsets a lot of people and like i guess it makes sense like there's footage of like tobias forge like you know papa three or whatever it was talking to some little kid at a show like trying to explain the birds and the bees to him like it was so weird it was like all right and i know that's a turn off for a lot of people it just makes me laugh because of this band has come such a far away it seems like a lifetime ago opus Apotamus came out and even like when they tour now they have this weird amount of sexual energy especially with how tobias likes to dress pop up and like he even likes to talk about taint tickling and like every show it's like okay 
It's very interesting and weird, but it's funny. Like, it makes me laugh. It's, it's goes just being wacky. They have such a sense of humor to them, which I can appreciate. And again, it's a wacky premise for a band. The crowd digs it. It's not like the whole audience is like super uncomfortable. Like what's going on? Like people dig it. Everyone's having fun. It fits. It all fits. This band has evolved so much. And even Tobias Forge has said that he wants Ghost to be a forever evolving band. So who knows what their seventh or eighth album could sound like. Because with Impera, it wasn't really that poppy compared to their last two. Oh, my God. Um, you have Spillways, I guess. Call Me Little Sunshine, I guess, is kind of poppy, maybe. But Griftwood, Watcher in the Sky, that's an anthem. That's almost like a hair metal anthem right there. Very good stuff, but it's so sad that people don't give this band a chance. And I think that's a huge problem in the metal community, that people are so obsessed with gatekeeping or dubbing a band this or dubbing a band that. It's not metal enough. There's too much pop in it. There are posers. Like, it's crazy. There's nothing like that in any other genre. And it's very sad to see that people aren't giving Ghost a chance. And I know I'm, like, saying this about a stadium band. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just disappointing. It's sad to see. I think it's mostly a lot of, like, boomer metalheads I'm seeing this from. And a lot of people that literally grew up on just hardcore music, a lot of thrash metal comes from hardcore punk. So you're going from hardcore punk to thrash and might be a difficult transition going from something like that to a band like Ghost. And that's totally understandable. It's not for everyone, but to literally dub it as like bad music. I don't know, man. Like, I know a lot of bad music out there, but I don't think Ghost is one of them. Ghost has definitely proved themselves in terms of songwriting. There are so many songs I can hold up and almost call a masterpiece because of how well it's structured, how well it flows, the technical elements of it. And what really blows my mind is how talented ghosts are and how they can do all these different genres not like a king gizzard level of doing a bunch of genres but they're able to hey let's do a let's do a van halen song hey let's do a hair metal song hey let's do a proggy song let's do a instrumental with a saxophone in it let's do a doom metal album like it's really impressive and these albums are getting a ton of good press when they come out, people aren't like, oh, yep, another uh, Swedish baby metal album. Isn't that cool looking? No, people praise their music. People really like it. I think people need to start seriously just like admitting that they don't like a song just because it's not for them or a band. I think Ghost is truly a band like just lost at a time because there's really no time period where this band could have worked. If this band came out in like the 80s, the Tipper Gore censorship fanatics would have had a field day with this band. With how satanic their first album is, this band wouldn't have made it at all. And even their next album, Maliora, still, like, even in the 2010s, people were protesting shows. Venues weren't even letting Ghost play because of how satanic they were. And this is the 2010s. The 80s, they wouldn't have survived. But if they had a platform in the 80s, all these stubborn boomer metalheads would have given them a chance. They probably would have loved Ghost, most of them. Now, I'd love to see a timeline where Ghost came out in like the 70s and kiss started in the 2010s <laughs> like a young gene simmons a young, like all that happening in the 2010s just to see how metalheads would react oh these kiss is a bunch of posers ghost is really where it's at it's i'd love to see how many people are just a victim of the time and their environment 
with this band because <laughs> that'd be so funny. But who knows? Those same people could have heard Ghost for the first time and been like, what a bunch of losers. What a bunch of posers. I don't know what this word means, but they seem very baby metal. It could have gone down like that. You know, we'll never know. But I'd love to, I fantasize about it all the time. If Ghost came out in the 70s, this band could have dominated the world. If they had the platform, if people gave them the chance, maybe if they changed their like satanic themes a little bit and the words, I don't know, man, that might have, that might ruin it, but it's unfortunate. It's sad to see so many people just push ghosts to the side because they see the magic word of pop or something turns them off and they don't give them a chance. But again, music's subjective. I get when people don't like a band. It's okay. There's a lot of bands that people want me to like that I just can't get into. I, I cannot get into Sabaton, man. I just can't. I can't take that band seriously. Power metal is my one kryptonite. I just can't. But I do respect the people that enjoy it. Sometimes Sabaton's a guilty pleasure for me. But I'm not gonna, like, literally brand that band as not metal or cringe or whatever. But yeah, that will do it for this episode of Disturbing the Priest. Do you like Ghost? Do you hate Ghost? Will you listen to Ghost now? If I was to recommend a Ghost album for you to start out with, definitely start with their first one, Opus Apotamus. It's their most metal. If that's not even too metal for you, Stop with that one and call it a day. But right after that, go to Meliora because Meliora is their best. I don't think they'll ever surpass the quality of Meliora. It is perfect. It is such an amazing album. But yeah, again, this will do it for Disturbing the Priest. I'm your host, Brandon Baddock, and thank you for listening. 